Hi, this is Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to take you through the steps to create a header that will consist of a logo with some text. As you can see, we're using WordPress theme 2012, which is a mobile responsive theme. The goal is to keep the home page looking very uncluttered, easy to read, easy to navigate, so that people who are looking at it on a smartphone or an iPad or a tablet of any kind will be able to read it easily. You may have noticed that many of the websites on the internet are now using an icon uh, logo with text and keeping their headers sort of a minimalist look. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take you now to Picasa, where, which is free software, and I'll show you how to make a header like that. Now we're on the page where I've created a lot of icons, and I created these using the, uh, by going to create, picture collage, and then creating uh, collages that I saved. You can look at my other video on creating a logo and you'll see how to do that. So let's go ahead and choose one of these. I have extras because you can go to file and save a copy which is always a good idea if you're going to be experimenting. So right now let's go ahead and click on this logo and then click on hold selected item. Go up to create picture collage and as you can see I have already set the page format to 960 by 100 which is a narrow header because I'm trying to make one of the narrow headers that don't take up much room on the home page this will allow more of your content to show I'm going to click on the logo that's showing and I'm using the little handle to resize it. And then I'll drag it over here. So we're going to have a long narrow header and there's the logo on it. Over here I click on Create Collage. And there you are. Now we have a variety of tools here and I'll click on the text tool. That opens up a box which enables you to choose a font, font size, bold text if you wish, and you click here to choose all kinds of colors. And over here you also choose an outline color for your text. If you don't want any outline on it, you can go ahead and just choose white. Because this logo is colorful and on white, I'm going to try to find something that will go with that. Let's just use a good turquoise. And I'll come over here, click on the header, and after you type the text, you can resize it or drag it around anywhere that you want to put it. So. I'm going to add the words I'm not typing very well because I have my microphone sitting on my laptop at the same time. <laughs> WordPress tutorials for beginners and I'll see how you can move that around and by grabbing the handle here you can also change that. And if we decide, what if we think that this is not a dark enough shade to have enough contrast? We can click here and we'll try it with black, a darker blue, we could make it red, uh, we could make it yellow, and I'll show you what it looks like when you have an outline.
Here's yellow with a blue outline or, or black outline. I think it's really better these days to keep it as minimalist as possible. And so for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to make it black. So we've got the colorful icon and the black text. Then I click over here on Apply. And I can go back to the library. And there's our header. I'm going to go up here and click File, Save As. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. So we'll call it header. I've got a lot of headers that I've saved through the years. So I'll just put a date on that of uh, header October 14th A. And I'll click Save. I'm going to minimize Picasa. Let's go over to our website. As you can see on theme 2012, I have removed the sidebar, sidebar, which is an option that you can do. And I've also removed the title text because I have title text in the header image itself. So I'll go over to the dashboard. down to Appearance, and then to Header. And right here I'm going to click on Browse. And I'll choose my desktop. And then I'll type in the title of the header that I just created. Oh, and in the list that pops up, there it is click Open, and then I click here for Upload. And when it uploads, it doesn't show the whole header. Uh, this is a little dotted line that's moving. Looks a little bit like a row of ants. So you put your mouse over here where it forms a double arrow and just drag that over so that we'll be sure not to cut off any of the header. This is because if you upload an image, you are able to cut it and um, crop it and then publish it. So we'll go ahead and we'll crop and publish so that you can see what this looks like. And if I click here on Save Changes, then when I go back and look at the front of the website, there's the new header. And that's how easy it is to create a header with a logo and text. And remember that with the mobile devices, keeping your landing page clean, uncluttered, and easy to read for the small screen on a smartphone is important. Thanks for joining me. Happy computing and have a great day.